With Secretary of State John Kerry looking on, three U.S. Marines hoisted the flag up a pole at the embassy for the first time in 54 years. Yes, finally, the universal symbol of freedom and liberty is flying in Cuba, someplace other than Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> but, but it wasn't just symbolic flag raising. The reopening of the embassy also gave Secretary of State John Kerry a chance to dust off his freshman year Ketal textbook. I say on behalf of my country, los Estados Unidos acogen con beneplacito este nuevo comienzo de su relación con el pueblo, el gobierno de Cuba. <laughs> no bueno. <laughs> You sound like a Rosetta Stone, and not the software. You sound like an actual rock trying to speak Spanish. <laughs> and look, look, the negotiations to get us to this point are way too complicated to get into right now. Suffice to say, they involved at various points Senator Patrick Leahy, the Pope, and the nation of Canada. But perhaps the most amazing detail was that at one point, the negotiations actually hinged on this. A wild story involving the artificial insemination of the wife of one of the Cuban prisoners being held in the United States, with the Leahy's bringing um, the, uh, the, the the semen, really, from the prisoner in the United States to Havana so she could become pregnant. It's true. Apparently, as part of the effort to close the deal, last year, Senator Patrick Leahy helped facilitate the artificial insemination of a Cuban prisoner's wife by ensuring safe passage for his sperm. And let this be a lesson to anyone who thinks international diplomacy is glamorous. Because it is not just cocktail parties and high-level meetings. Once in a while, your job may include making sure an international flight takes off with a carry-on bag containing presumably less than three ounces of warm Cuban jizz. That's an adult's job. That is diplomacy.